வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாம்ஸ் யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசிவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் சேவா வாட் இஸ் கல்யுகா த ரூலிங் ஆஃப் பேட் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேட்டர் ஹூ ஒர்க் ஃபார் ரிமார்க்கபிள் செல்ஃபிஷ் கெயின் பாயஸ் எக்ஸ்பர்டிங் த ஓன் பீப்புள் இஸ் கால் கல்யுகா ஹவ் கல்யுகா ப்ரொஃபசைஸ் பை கிருஷ்ணா வுட் பி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் யூஷுவல் கல்யுகாஸ் அமங் தமிழ் காலனிஸ் Mahabharata war took place around 5000 BC. Krishna prophesied about the greater Kalyuga. Remember, among Tamil colonies there are only two yugas. One is Satyuga, which means good government as per the principle of Asivagam. Asivagam which gives power to all clan involved in different profession to take part in active participation of administration. Caste is nothing but a profession. The other yuga is Kalyuga. Kalyuga means ruling of selfish administrator who exploiting common people for some selfish gain. Kalyuga lasted for some period. But the greater Kalyuga which Krishna prophesied would be very long. Mahabharat war took place from the region of Turkey, Iranian plateau to the Indus Valley. The population of Tamil was almost wiped out after this war. Those who surviving after the war were not strong enough to stop the Aryan migration which started from 3000 BC. Aryan came from Europe. They are from the bloodline of Cain, the first antichrist. The coming of antichrist mentioned in the Bible refers to the coming of the children of antichrist Cain, Persia on the land of noble Tamil and Semitic black race. Coming of antichrist in other word coming of Masiya Dajjal and its one eyed system refers to the principle of Varnadharam and manu law which degrades the son of the soil remember ancient tamil scholar gave written form to sanskrit the verbal aryan language around 2000 bc after getting educated they started destroying tamil by creating new languages by mixing tamil and sanskrit thus we are having dravidian languages aryan settlers once getting educated destroyed the native way of life called asivagam by introducing varnadharam Koil means the house of a king or administrator where the common people took an active part in the administration and policy making Aryan settler took away the power of common people common people were not allowed to enter parliament in other word koil thus native tamil blacks became slave on their land through their hypocrite administrator who serving persian settler under varnadharam if any king stood against varnadharam they ended like raja harish chandra so krishna's prophecy regarding the greater kalyuga is different from regular kalyuga because the native elites would serve the settlers under their policy of varnadharam pushing their brothers into the era of untouchability native settlers serving aryan settlers and their policy of varnadharam some out of fear and some out of selfishness control the head and control the body under the vishkanya concept native elites got married aryan settlers women the native elites whoever serving settlers and governing its people on the direction of children of antichrist aryan persian thus pushing their people into the era of untouchability if one goes against settlers principle of varnadharam and the law of manu he would be ended like raja harish chandra the worst kind of slavery was introduced by native king to exploit their people for the benefit of aryan settlers because of the fear and selfishness Remember when i say tamils it means all black people living across asia because we should see by dna we should not see people by language or religion or region but see people by race and tribe we see people by black natives aryan settlers and mixed race while north east india and indo china we can find people of jafet by dna remember intercaste marriage was not allowed among the colonies of tamils earlier Quran the asivagam reminder reminder it amends the old law on the subject of marriage it is allowing intercaste marriage among the colonies of tamil but warns about the inter race marriage in other word which can be a concept i read quran chapter 2 verse 221 and do not marry a politics woman until they believe and a believing slave woman is better than a politics even though she might please you and do not marry politics men until they believe and a believing slave is better than a polytheist even though she might please you those invite you to fire but allah invites to paradise and forgiveness by his mercy permission 
and he makes clear his verses to the people that perhaps they may remember. Those settlers invites you to fire, but Allah invites to paradise. Tamils are not idol worshippers by tradition. They follow yoga, meditation to activate the Kundalini Chakra awakening and getting connected with higher consciousness. The purpose of marriage between black natives and Aryan women is never for love, but for betrayal. It is the weakened the clan of native elites to suppress their people. Remember, the first war was between Prophet Muhammad versus his people who serve Aryan settlers by following settlers policy of Varanadharam. Quran chapter 9 talks about the final fight between Aryan settlers and native blacks. Similarly, in India, the problem is not with Brahmin anymore as they are not in power. But the majority of native common people and thus elites of natives are now following Aryan settlers Roman Persian cult under the label of all religions and the religious sectors like Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi, Qadiani, etc. Those who holding power and more willingly serving Varnadhara, now they are supporting the new world order by the syndicate of global elite as they don't want to end up like Raja Harish Chandra. How this great Kal Yuga would end, we would discuss in our further videos. Nandri Vanakkam. Vanakkam. Thank you.